Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So I had to dub in the audio for this video. Hopefully it doesn't sound too weird. Um, if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below the video. Go ahead and book that reading now as I'm running a special. All right, Virgo, so let's get into your reading. And already starting off, you've got Let Go. Make room for something beginning, something new beginning that's on its way, which is awesome. Um, you also have honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. And also, whoop, okay. And you have no, it's not the right time for something. And you also have, looks like commitment. Things are getting serious. Okay. Let's take a look and see what this is all about for you. Oh, okay. There I go. Making a mess again. Leave them right there. They'll be fine. <laughs> okay. We're going to use the Christmas deck. So let's take a look at let go. What are you letting go of, Virgo? What does Virgo need to let go of and make room for that's coming in a new beginning that's coming in for Virgo. What is new? Come on already, Cal. Come on now. <laughs> uh, any day now. Any day. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're taking that one. Okay, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, right? So, hmm, some of you need to quit that job and make a decision to retire. Yep, looks like it's getting close to that time for some of you, or some of you need to take out that big loan, or go ahead and accept that inheritance, or you have some money coming in. Yep, you have new money, but this is long-term security. Um, let go of that bank account and start stashing your cash under your mattress. Maybe make that investment. Okay. So look, um, you guys, Eight of Pentacles, working your A off. Yeah, some of you have been working your tail to the bone and you haven't been really um, enjoying yourself. It looks like it's time to really, maybe even for some of you, just take that vacation or just take that break. Some of you might be looking for new, like a new job. You need to switch. You're going to make a switch or make some kind of change, some more money coming in for you. Um, this job maybe that you're currently working at, it's kind of like, oh, am I going to have to do this for the rest of my life? Um, some of you take out a loan so you can start something new. You don't have to like work as hard anymore or switch job and find something that has more like a better opportunity for long-term security. Yes. Uh, whatever you're working on, it looks like you can do better. And you, yeah, look at that. So you've got the Four of Swords. So it's time to take a break, Virgo. It is time to take a break. It is time to take that vacation. It's time to retire for some of you if you're able. Yeah, time for a little R&R. &R. Take a pause, figure out what you want to do. You're working very hard. Do something a little different. Okay, so we're on and on and on and on about that. Let's move on to honeymoon phase. Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. So you could be going to a wedding coming up soon. You might get an invite to someone's wedding. Okay, and you might be thinking about whether or not you should go or whether you will go. Okay, it definitely has to do with some travel. Maybe someone's going to Vegas or having like, look at that, the candy cane. I love it. Somebody might be going to Vegas or taking some kind of honeymoon. Maybe you've gotten married or you will get married. Okay. Going with friends as well. Attending some kind of party or a wedding somewhere where there's gambling and there's money. And uh, it's traveling, looking to see if you have enough money to go or how much it's going to cost. If you can go, there's definitely a trip of some sort. It looks like fun for sure in December. Lots of fun. Um, let's see. And even with like the Knight of Wands, it's going to be a hot time. <laughs> 
seriously. It's it looks like it's going to be uh, there's a lot of lust involved with this. So you might even be meeting up with not only some friends but someone in particular as well. There's but this is definitely an energy of doing something with friends and just partying and having a good time, very festive holiday time. And for some of you, you could find love but there is an energy of happiness enjoying contentment maybe even with family definitely with family okay let's take a look at no it's not the right time so okay you got the queen of cups you have the empress and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so water sign, fire sign, you've got a Libra. So there is an energy here. I'm picking up like there's a mother figure with two feminines. Um, and they may be saying to you, no, I can't right now, or we can't do this right now in December, something coming up. And, or you might be telling them it's not the right time. Okay, Ace of Wands. So some kind of new project or endeavor or something physical um, that is either being asked of you or you asking others, these other people. And it looks like in December, there's definitely no, not right now. Okay. Um, there's plans though. And here's the idea. And this is what I want to do. And so you might be presenting this or they're presenting it to you. And it's like, okay, it's, it's not time for us to take action on this just yet. Right. So it looks like it's kind of like a concept that's being formed. So there will be communication. It may have something to do with money. Um, there will be some communication about that, you know, whether we can do it, whether or not, that kind of energy. Um, looks like no, not, not in December, maybe in January. Yeah, definitely. Um, not right now. Never going into the Mercury retrograde on December 13th, all the way through January 1st. So, all right, commitment. Wow. Got the eight of the eight of wands. You have the nine of cups. Wow. You have the eight of pentacles. Oh, someone is on their way to you and they're bringing you a gift. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> the gift of commitment. Um, someone's at a, it feels like a crossroad. They've made a decision. They've been away and or you've been away and taking uh, some time to think about things and making a return. This is like wish coming true. This is something that I feel like your heart has wished for and that you've wanted. And it's going to make you very happy. It'd be a bit of a surprise. It's Cupid's arrows. So if there's someone that you have in your mind or in your heart, yeah, definitely an energy of happiness. Okay, let's see what else. Wow, so you've got the new year here. Baby New Year right there with the sun. All right, there is a, definitely a message about a new baby coming in for sure, or the birth of a new baby. And this is starting also for some of you in the beginning of January, which would be the new year, 2024. But let's see what else is coming up here for you. Oh, wow, much success. Those are two success cards. There, there's a lot of promise, success, joy, expansion, happiness, look, travel, lots of travel. Okay, so some of you or someone here is going to be traveling, going somewhere, doing something. Um, some of you getting that new car, and you're going to be able to travel even farther or get good gas mileage. But this definitely feels like coming out of some kind of struggle into a much better place. Um, there could be there's movement, but there could be like relocation as well. Moving to a different area or different country, cross the water for some of you, moving to a warmer environment, um, even warmer than where you are now. Yeah, and I do feel like someone's coming to visit you in December from a distance. Yes, and it's going to be a really great fantastic time it could be with a cancer it could be with a leo but it looks like it's going to be a really fun yeah look the world look at that beautiful wreath and that says happy holidays so it's definitely in the holiday season um we also have aquarius and taurus and scorpio oh there's the aquarius card yeah 
So uh, there's definitely a lot of fun adventure in December with someone who's coming in to visit or you're going to visit them. There's, um, this is the fool. This is like the very beginning. This is the start. There's a new beginning, a new start happening here. There's a risk. Also, if you heard the video yesterday, the reading yesterday, um, it'll be at the end of this video, be able to click on it if you didn't get a chance to listen to that. There was a lot to do with taking a risk that was going to turn out in your favor. Okay. Yeah, so there's definitely an ending and a new beginning happening. And I feel like this is more towards the end of December. So sometime around, like, I feel like the third week. Yeah, it's it feels like back to um, being happy if you've been sad. Okay, so you also have the Two of Swords. Oh, the Devil. And... Okay, Three of Pentacles. All right, some of you have, um, I will say, like a work situation or a place where you work where there's an energy is like very, very toxic environment. Now this could be toxic in the sense where the other people are toxic or there could be something going on like some construction um, in the basement perhaps or a lower floor where um, there might be like a smell of some kind that's like some fumes that um and if you're working late at your pl at where you work if you uh, wherever your place of work is if you're like working well late and everybody's gone you might smell it uh just be careful i don't feel like there's like a big explosion or anything like that but i feel like you're going to be on your own or you'll be maybe you go down you find it kind of you're looking for something in the dark if you're there at night and you, you, you smell something, you find something and, and, you know, you Virgo to the rescue, calling the fire department. Yeah. Or whomever you call for something or the boss or if you're the boss, you know, not noticing what's going on. Okay. So watch out for work. So now you have temperance. Ooh, you've got the lovers. Beautiful. And ace of pentacles. Wow. Okay. The opportunity to be with a lover like your twin, like your other half, the person you're meant to be with is showing up here. Um, even with temperance, I feel like she's preparing you two to meet, to come together. Okay. So December, you might receive a gift from someone and it could be the gift of love. But this energy of you and your, uh, it, or I will see your person, it could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Now, you may not even know them. For some of you, this is a new love start with someone. It could be somebody that you know, um, but this is a new love start. I love how they have clothes on. So imagine if they were in bikinis, they'd be freezing in the snow. But yeah, it's definitely a new love start for some of you. And for others, it's with the person that you already know is your other half. A very beautiful, and it's not a false twin flame energy. It's, it's the real deal. Oh, look at that. Ace of Cups, my favorite card. Chocolate, chocolate, hot chocolate and marshmallows. I love it. So yeah, there's definitely, an, it's a new love. Yeah, it's a new love beginning. Beautiful. That is so, uh, I mean, it just makes me want to drink that right now. I love it. Put a candy cane and some hot chocolate with marshmallows. A little bit of vodka and we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, so watch out for December. Um, I'm hearing December 19th. <coughs> yes, December 19th. There's something something showing up here in the way of love for you. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, you... Um, you're done waiting for... It's like as soon as you stop, like you're, the struggle of waiting for love to come in is like pretty much devoured you. And you're, you're like, you put an end to that waiting and then you go get busy and here comes the King of Cups. And so for some of you, it could be a water sign. This person is, you'll know them by, they have some kind of broken heart in regards to someone that may have passed. Okay. Um, that's gone on to the afterlife, right? So I feel like that's how you will recognize this person that comes in. Um, if that resonates for you right now, great. It might not, they might not be here yet. And so when you meet them or you start talking to them, you might meet them at some kind of like 
a restaurant or over drinks and some maybe one of you doesn't drink there you are right there king of pentacles yeah um or you you pace yourself you've had enough drinks or you get someone buys you a drink this person or i don't know buys you some chicken <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah so there's definitely an offer it's a surprise though it's going to be a surprise it's like when you least expect it here comes love yep total shock total shock after the tower comes brand new beginnings your patience when it comes to love is paying off in december could be like i said a pisces you have cancer scorpio um, there's going to be communication someone that you connect with if you already know them they've, they've definitely got a thing for you and they're going to open up and express how they feel give that clarity if you don't know them they're, they're going to definitely reach out and want to talk to you and a very beautiful energy with the judgment because i feel like it's it's like final acknowledgement like i finally you've met the person that i'm supposed to be with they say that to you you say that to them this is how this energy plays out it's or you've just known it all along and it gets recognized okay so you also have justice look at that naughty and nice <laughs> Yeah, Virgo, that's you with your double personalities. <laughs> sometimes you're naughty, sometimes you're nice. Okay, so there's a legal situation that's playing out in December. Um, I feel like it could involve a legal dispute in regarding a vehicle. I feel like um, you're going to get a sweet deal from like a, a lawyer is going to get you a sweet deal or a judge. It's going to be in your favor in December. Yeah, real sweet deal. It's going to be good. So if you're in a car accident or you had some kind of fender bender or something happened with a vehicle, um, yeah, I feel like if if it was it was somebody else's fault, it's going to work out in your favor. Now you've got the Page of Cups, seven. I'm sorry, five of wands. Oh, and the Page of Swords. All right. There's definitely some conflict. Um, there's some conflict. There's words. Someone's real mean and someone's apologizing. Someone's being nasty and someone's being sweet. It's causing a... Con oh, great. King of Swords. It shouldn't... It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's some kind of conflict with the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in December. One person apologizes. One person's... A, this person apologizes to you. They're asking if they, like, <clears throat> if you're mad at them or if you're upset. They tell you that they're really sorry. Yep. There's you, Virgo. Yep. They're going to apologize to you. Yeah, because, you know... Virgo, you there, you look so sweet and innocent. <laughs> that King of Swords look kind of cold and um, kind of rough. I feel like the King of Swords is going to apologize to you or apologize to somebody else. You might have this connection where there's like some type of conflict between them and in regards to even some kids maybe. There's definitely... There's also um, something to do here with wanting to have a baby not wanting to have another baby um and also maybe something to do with custody arrangements for the holidays for christmas hanukkah whichever some type of um who's visiting who that kind of energy i'm picking up one child wants to do one thing another wants to do another it could be family conflict one person wants to go here the other is going to that person's house all right, you also have the Hierophant, you have the Magician, and the Six of Pentacles. So, okay, they're saying that there might be some type of, oh yeah, the Knight of Swords, there's some type of charity event or some kind of giving out gifts or giving out money or, or something like that attached to some kind of community program or a church or work. Or it could be like, you know, the Santa's Helpers kind of stuff or a kid's magic show, or something along those lines that you may be involved in. It's going to go really well. There's going to be a lot of people there. Um, you may even get involved in this, um, helping the homeless, or something like that during the holidays. 
Um, you might even be asked to participate, maybe deliver, like in a, on a Santa sleigh, <laughs> like an elf. Yeah, an elf, an elves, um, something along those lines. That it feels like, like that Christmas magic of giving back. So that either that's coming to you, and you're going to get some of that, or you're going to be in getting yourself involved in helping those less fortunate in December. Okay, so maybe around December 15th, I'm hearing something along those lines. Okay, so now you also have the Six of Cups. So what's going on here? Oh, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, so Virgo. A little bit of mental stress you could be feeling in December or feeling like trapped or just some anxiety or just feeling alone. I feel like somebody's coming back in here from your past. Oh, look at them turkeys. Oh, maybe you call that person a turkey. <laughs> what a turkey. So um, there's definitely going to be an, a reconciliation or someone's coming back in to bring joy, maybe an apology, happiness. Um, if you're feeling lonely, uh, something, yeah, okay. So this could be connected to family. It could be connected to um, a love relationship or a marriage or um, a family situation. Yes, there's going to be a family reunion for some of you. Okay, so now you also have ooh, the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords. All right, what's going on here? Because Queen of Swords is being sneaky behind the back. Oh. Oh. Queen of Swords, it looks like a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, owes, might owe you some money or is giving you a gift. Um. I feel like they owe you some money and they know it's they've really it's been a while since they've given you some money now this may not resonate for all of you but just wait and see how it plays out she knows that um she doesn't want you to be upset with her <laughs> for not giving you the money that or some kind of gift or returning something to you that she, maybe she stole or paying you back for something um i feel like she's going to it's been taking a while but i feel like she's going to return something of yours or she's going to pay you back for something that she either borrowed which then if she never returned it then she technically stole it <laughs> right because it's only borrowed until it's you know when it's given back otherwise that's theft so yeah that's definitely and there might even be like some clarity about that and she feels guilty or really stressed about something that she did so or something that she kept for so long it might be an old christmas cookbook from like a parent or a grandparent or she she stole it from someone is giving it to you and she's finally returning that christmas sweater okay so what else now you've got the seven of wands oh you got strength so that's the strength training <laughs> oh my gosh okay virgo you you have a little bit of regret or remorse for not working out or letting yourself go maybe maybe not um or you have been weak and you haven't been able or you haven't had your strength to keep up with your health your physical fitness um I feel like there's a, there's a, something here about you want to get back to that, but you, you you can't go back to where you left off. You have to start all over. So instead of picking up and putting up like the three weights, you just can only pick up the two. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I feel like you might have a little bit of regret and remorse about that, but Try not to, it feels like it's stuck and lost on that because you can just have to work your way back up again. Okay, you have the High Priestess, Two of Cups, oh, and the Two of Pentacles. Um, so remember in yesterday's reading, there was this risk, something that you were keeping within and you weren't sure you were going to share it. You were hesitant about sharing that with someone. Um, it's still the same message because maybe you were afraid that everything would get ruined 
If you share something, I'll tell you what, it will make the relationship stronger by you sharing that. So go back to yesterday's reading and listen so you know what I'm talking about more specifically. I feel like you're still kind of weighing it, um, but its they're telling me it's okay. The other person will receive it very well and will return it to you as well in the same way. So if you're sharing your feelings or you're sh sharing some truth, I feel like this person will trust you. You guys will have this talk, this conversation, and be on the same page. All right, so now you're the king of wands and, ooh, the emperor. This is a father and son scenario, or grandfather and son. Okay. Hmm. So uh, there's a, there's a, there's a parent and a ki and a and their offspring that have not been talking, and there is an energy of um, well, the holidays are coming. Um, maybe I should invite this other person. It's it's two people. One's older, one's younger. Uh, maybe I should invite them for the holidays or um, you know get together. It's it's a thought process. Um, I don't see it actually happening. It doesn't mean it won't. But right now, I'm seeing that someone is really thinking about it. Um, now it may be in this fantasy mode stage because there may have been some abuse or some arguments or harsh words or, or one person may have been really hard on the other. Um, but there is this should I or shouldn't I. Okay. So it could be, it's a parent, it could be a parent and you know, their, their son or daughter. Um, you could be either one, um, Hmm. There might have been some lies. I don't know. With that moon, it, it's kind of sketch. So I feel like it's kind of in this well. I feel like I should, but I don't know if I want to. That kind of thing. So it's a lot of thinking about it. Okay. So you also have the Ace of Swords, the Star, and the Four of Pentacles with, well, the Five of Pentacles. So Virgo, if you've been Listen, holding on to every penny because you're financially struggling. Um, it looks like it looks like things are going to shift. Things are going to change. So there's definitely going to be some new communication coming in about this financial struggle. Um, that's going to give you some hope. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is always, you know, overcoming some kind of major hurdles and obstacles and gaining clarity. Um, you're going to know how to find a way through this or out of this. It's not, it's temporary. So it's telling me there's this financial temporary struggle. And it's December. Okay, so, you know, get the holidays, everybody's spending a lot of money, and the prices are so high and through the roof just at the grocery store. It's unbelievable. And you've been like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to eat rice and drink water for all of December because it's so expensive. But this is a temporary thing. And you may get some help or someone may reach out to you or there might be something that comes in the mail, you know, or some offers or some deals that's going to help, like, make you feel like, you know, you can get through this December, these holidays, this Christmas, whatever you need to do. Um, now, you've been a little bit of a Scrooge, <laughs> but you've had to be. I don't feel like you've been selfish, but you've been struggling. Um, but, you know, the Ace of Swords is always my light bulb card. You know, it's like, ding, ding, ding. Oh, a new idea comes in, you know, with the star. It's like, oh, I know I know, I know what I need to do. I'm, I, you get yourself renewed and, and back in a good financial place after the holidays are over, for sure. Okay, so you've got here and now. Your true love is already part of your life. Oh, <laughs> there's your twin flame. Here we go. Not a false twin flame. This is the real twin flame. You do have one. How do you know the difference between a false twin and a real twin? Um, the real twin, you might have been married to them. You may get married to them. The real twin, you guys never stay out of touch for the rest of your lives. The false twin, you never hear from them again. You don't ever see them again. Ever. Ever. That's the false twin. And for some of you, it's you're like, that's fine with me. But yeah, um, this, this relationship could be... So you could be reconnecting with your twin flame and moving into a more sacred union. Um, or you could be reconnecting for the first time. Or, like they're in your life right now. Your real twin flame is in your life right now. You may not even realize it. 
They're like hiding behind the, I don't know, the bush or something. Okay, let's get into your charms and your numbers and see. Okay, Scorpio is showing up here first and foremost. So you may have a connection to Scorpio or you have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. We've got age 54, uh, age 70 or 1970, September 8th, 808, area code, uh, also age 80. We also have 7054 for a phone number and the letter Z, so initial Z. Okay, We're starting out with age 37, someone's born in 86, the letter C and the letter X. Okay, what else do you have here? Oh, we're going to do some phone numbers. All right, 7183-3251. Last four digits of a phone number, 5069-3682. Okay. Someone's born in January. We have the initial A, someone is 29. We also have uh, someone is from Ohio. I just heard Ohio. Someone lives in Hawaii, going to Hawaii, Ohio, from Ohio. All right, age 57, age 78, or 1978, 1957. Um, Hawaii, I just heard Hawaii. Okay, 47, we have the letter P, um, September 14th, August 31st, and September 6th, September 10th, 6 again, September 6th again. Uh, September 3rd, September 4th, September 5th, September 1st. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to do our charms now. Let's see what you have for the charms. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Ooh, you've got the peace sign. Okay, maybe somebody drives a Volkswagen? Or you have the peace sign somewhere that's connected to you in some way. Wish we had peace now in the world. Like maybe we could just have um, a a peace ceasefire, peace in all the world for just all of the holidays would be so great. No more wars. All right, what else do you have, Virgo? All right. Oh, you've got a black swan. Okay. Now, some of you, I just got this message that um, some of you are the black sheep of your family. And if you are, this is your reading tonight. This is your reading. Okay, that black swan could also have something to do with Christmas. Uh, I've never seen a black swan, but I bet they're so, gosh, beautiful. Okay, ooh. So, you have an elephant, a bat... And a lucky horseshoe. Okay. Two luck symbols, the elephant. But the bat, that's like the bat signal. Like you're getting, if you're getting some like weird signs or synchronicities and things like that that are happening to you at this time, pay very close attention because the universe is trying to tell you something or another person is trying to connect with you in the 5D. But these, the elephant and the horseshoe does make me feel like um, this is a very lucky time for you. You might have a horseshoe somewhere in your house. Maybe you keep horseshoes or lucky charms somewhere or an elephant faces your door. Yeah, um, but something about that bat. Maybe somebody likes baseball. Uh, there's something about this bat that it, it represents some type of signal. Maybe you start getting them in October synchronicities and signals and signs showing up here very significant so i think that's going to be it you guys um 
I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I don't know what happened to the sound, so I have to redub it in. But if you want to get a personal reading with me, feel free to reach out. There's a link in the description box below this video. You just click that link that will take you to my link tree where you can book your reading. It's a December discounted reading, 30 minute phone call. Do go check that out. And uh, yeah, I don't have a, I've opened up more time slots so you'll be able to fit in. You can also book with Brandy. Um, but yeah, and uh, just also peruse my link tree and see what other things I have to offer. And you can follow me on my socials. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great evening. Please hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.